Hello, you wonderful people. And today's video, I'm going to tell you you're using AI all wrong. How do I know this? Because I'm just guessing. Anyway, here's the thing. If you're using AI to just randomly help you code without understanding what your code is doing, obviously you are using AI wrong and it's going to hurt you in the long run. AI is not going to replace developers, but I feel like if you start relying on the tools without questioning what they're doing, it will probably make you dumber. And so to fight this tendency of me to become dumber, here's how I'm using AI to help me actually learn things and become a better developer. So let me show you an example of what I did here. And hopefully this will bring you lots of value. And if it doesn't, you could leave mean comments in the comment section because who cares? But here we go. Here's my recent project that I built and what it does, it randomly generates train tracks. And notice you have a marker like this green one and the yellow one. When you click start train, it's going to go ahead and find the quickest path to the endpoint. Now, I had no idea how to do this when I started making this journey. All I wanted to do is just make a game where you could represent train tracks. And so the first thing I did, let me refresh this, is I used cursor to help me figure out how do I lay tracks? How do I create tracks that I could use, right? It's like, how do I do this? Then I was like, well, I want to figure out how to end a start point and an end point. Then I was like, let me have the train start. And before I had no idea how to find paths, so I was like, I probably have to figure out some sort of path finding algorithm to make this work. So I had no idea how to do this, but what I did through iteration, I worked on this project. And what I did is through building this project, I was using cursor to help me write the code. And sometimes when something wasn't making sense, I would select the thing and ask cursor something. And through the process of trial and error, asking questions. Half the time will take me down a rabbit hole where things would break. So I slowly had to start to develop understanding of what I was doing. But after the code was done, after I built everything, what I did, I actually selected all the code that I had. And I literally asked it number one, to create documentation and to create resource. And one of my favorite new prompts that I started to ask is you could literally in cursor say, based on the following code, what computer science concepts do I need to know to build this? And you click enter, it's gonna go ahead, take a look at your code, and it's gonna generate. And here it's gonna show you what you need to understand. For instance, data structures, 2D arrays, objects, sets and cues, algorithms. For instance, for this algorithm, I'm using breath first search for pathfinding. I'm also using a random function to generate the path. Um, all my maps, like the railroad here, the tracks, they're represented as a graph. So here it says you need to learn, you know, graph theory representing how to traverse with grid and all these things. So if like asynchronous programming, I'm using Canvas. And here you have an outline of all the things you need to know. And maybe some of these things you know, but if you don't know, now you have a place to go where you could do additional learning to learn. What I also asked this to do based on my code, I had to generate documentation, which will go ahead and document all the different functions, all the different variables I used, all the functions, and it'll say, hey, draw grid, this function is responsible for rendering the entire game state and it shows all the methods and it shows the comments of what each method does. So now where, when I started, I had no idea what I was doing. I kind of had a vague idea, kind of what I needed. And one caveat I'll tell you, if you knew zero coding or had no idea kind of what you wanted to ask via prompt, obviously you wouldn't get to the end product because it wasn't always producing the things that worked and I had to backstep, I had to troubleshoot. So this was iterative process. And again, I asked it to generate a list of all the things that I need to know for me to learn. And so I find that using AI to create something that you don't understand or maybe have vague understanding 
and then having it teach you how it came to that conclusion, I think it's a great way to have AI as your rubber ducky, as a feedback cycle where you don't use AI to just get stuff done, but you use AI to improve your ability as a developer and learn how to learn faster with AI as your co-pilot, if you will. So I know this might be self-evident to you, but if you're using the tools without questioning what they're doing and understanding what things or concepts it's basing all of, all of its code, then you're literally wasting your time and you are going to become dumber. I really think so because I find it in myself because I started relying on these tools. If my internet goes down and I try to code, I'm going to be like, what happened to my chat GPT? Where did it go? So here's what I started doing. I started using it to make me better rather than just solve my problem. So am I going to stop using AI to build things? No, I'm going to use it to help me. But more importantly, I'm going to use it to teach me to understand the underlying principles that make the code work. And this is where the benefit of AI comes to me. Instead of spending time on monotonous things. I could use it to help me get started and things that I don't understand or need to fill the gaps in my knowledge, I'm gonna use AI to help me identify what they are and then spend that free time that I save by using AI to learn those new concepts. You could find YouTube videos based on the topics you identified or other resources, but the goal, if you're using the tools, use it to make yourself better rather than just completing your code. Anyway, I wanted to share this with you today. I hope you like this video, but with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, everybody.